The Senate says it's close to unveiling legislation to overhaul the U.S. health care system. Last night, the White House released a letter from 23 economists, which outlined some priorities the Senate bill should include. Uva Reinhardt of Princeton University was one of those economists. He joins us now from Princeton with more. Dr. Reinhardt, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good to see you again. Pleased to be here. Dr. Reinhardt, in this letter, it says that four elements of the legislation, of the health care reform legislation, are critical. Deficit neutrality, an excise tax on high-cost insurance plans, an independent Medicare commission, and delivery system reforms. I was wondering if we might take them one by one, beginning with deficit neutrality. Well, I think the previous president passed a drug bill that'll add 1.2 trillion to the federal deficit in the coming decade. I think that is a very reckless uh, way to finance health reform. This health reform is supposed to be deficit neutral, and economists are particularly strongly urging the president to keep it that way. Health care uh, should be paid for by the contemporaries who live and not by children who haven't even been born yet. And I don't know why the previous administration thought it was ethically defensible to put a trillion dollars on the tab and let our grandchildren pay for it. But doc, so Dr. that's where the first angle comes from. Dr. Reinhardt, if I might, though, even in this economic environment, is it possible for legislation this large to be deficit neutral? Of course it is. Uh, certainly, when you look at total health spending for the coming def, uh, decade, it's something like $33 trillion, of which almost half will be government. And there ought to be a way to carve, say, half a trillion for the next 10 years out of the current health spending, which everyone admits is wasteful. Even if we were administratively as efficient as we should be, we would have enough money to pay for this bill. So, yes, and the other one, you could raise taxes on high-income people a little bit. We are the least taxed nation in the OECD. Right. And <clears throat> particularly economists think getting these Cadillac plans for high-income people without their having to pay taxes on that compensation is really a giveaway of revenue that serves no good purpose and, in fact, is inefficient. So, ideally, most economists right. would like to have all employer-paid health insurance premiums added to the W-2 form of employees. Is that realistic? But at least you can make it. Well, that's not realistic politically. It's perfectly sensible uh, economically. If you did that, you would have $250 billion more revenue every year, and it would take less than half of that right. to cover universal, uh, to get universal coverage. Right. So economists have been begging for this for decades, and we should at least make a down payment on it. Now, now Dr. Reinhardt, uh, what about the, the third step here, an independent Medicare commission? How critical is that? I think it's absolutely essential. Most other countries are moving that direction. Our Congress basically is a big bazaar that sells legislative favors in return for campaign financing. It'll be impossible ever to get a solid cost containment regime in place. For that, you need a commission of stakeholders. Hospitals, pharma, doctors, patients should all sit at the table and hash out a a responsible plan for the future right. where everyone, yes, has to sacrifice a little, but it's for the good of the nation. And, and Dr. Reinhardt, the final one, delivery system reforms, uh, that's something that has been called for by those who are actually criticizing the president's plan. It's, it's, it's this uh, the sense that the system right now is overwhelmed, and that's one of the problems. The system isn't overwhelmed. The system is built like a bunch of silos where one silo doesn't know what the other one does. If you go to one doctor and he or she looks at you, and then go to another one, they don't share a common file on what is wrong with you. So I think we, uh, <clears throat> we should have integrated health care. That's what we mean by systems delivery reform. The system isn't overwhelmed at all. This system could easily accommodate right. what health reform asks of it.